Hi, uh, we're reporting live here. There's some sort of crab infestation. We're gonna go take a look at it, see what we can do about it. I don't think there's anything we can do. It's over. Okay, we're here by the shore. Okay, we're gonna get a scientific measuring device to get a good sample going, just to give you a taste of what's going on out here. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, went and picked up this Petco Frisbee. I think this should give us a good idea. I'm gonna put water in. We're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully a bunch of tiny crabs, because that's what we're experiencing right now. We got people up in the sky taking a little look around, seeing if they can see where the source of the crabs are. Uh, hopefully we'll get to the bottom of this. Let's, let's go see what we got in here. With these crabs, we've noticed that they like to stick to things that are floating around. They don't really like swimming just in the water, but but if they find something floating, they will latch onto it. Oh my god. All right. See this stick floating in the water? This is this has a lot of crabs on it because they love they love resting on these sticks. All right, you see these Test guys? Test number one. Shh, hold on. You see these guys? They definitely look like crabs. They're very small. They seem to be baby crabs, and we suspect that le these little guys are are um, Asian shore crabs. Can They're I drop an this invasive rock on them? species. No, don't drop the rock. We'll do that later. They're an invasive species, and they're threatening the ecosystem here on the Long Island Sound. But these guys are definitely crabs. They're not spiders or anything. These are crabs. And as you can see, they're all along these sticks floating in the water. And they rest on all these buoys. I mean, it's gonna be scary when these things grow up. Okay, I'm gonna head out on the kayak to see if we can see them on the buoys. That's where I first saw these guys, so we're gonna see if we can get some images of them on the buoy. They actually climbed all over my kayak. It was pretty, pretty scary, but we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's head out. Okay, I'm here on my kayak, um, pretty deep out in the water. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna get back, but just looking around, I can see so many. Just every piece of seaweed, every twig is covered in these things. They just love latching on to solid, solid objects. Let's take a look. All right, I'm gonna go pick up this stick just to show you. Oh my God, they all, a lot of them fell off, but there are a few here. These guys are definitely crabs. They're just everywhere. I assume a lot of these will not survive. Okay, let's go head out to this buoy. This is where I first saw the crabs. And I can see them now. Wow. This must be where they hatch because there are so many on this buoy. Just looking at this buoy, I see so many crabs. They're all on the bottom of this buoy. Look at that. Those are all crabs, all those little dots. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. Look at those crabs, oh my God. The whole buoy, all the, the whole bottom of the buoy is, is crawling with these things. As you can see, just by moving, moving the buoy, that whole water, all the water has a bunch of black dots all around. Those are all crabs. So I definitely can see why these would be considered an invasive species. And I researched online that just one Asian shore crab can give birth to 50,000 crabs. So it doesn't take many crabs to cause an infestation like this. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this no boat buoy and see if there's any crabs on there. There definitely could be, seeing as they latch onto anything in the water, even that little piece of seaweed. And just as I expected, 
bunch of little black dots and yep looking at them closely those are definitely crabs looks like they've been able to get to every single buoy that might not just be the only buoy so i don't know where these things came from but they're just all over the place in the water on the buoys it will be interesting to see what will happen when these things grow up okay i'm gonna head back thank you for watching i'll keep you updated to see if there are any changes but this is a little frightening Apologize.